Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, I made a huge mistake this Outer Realms by leveling up. Um, I thought it was the might points one, <laughs> so I spent money and then it turns out it was the rank swap one. It's very annoying. Um, and my budget is gone for this video, that's it. There was a 210% prime, bought some rubies, and now that's it. I'm done. Uh, so as you can see, I'm burning because this guy attacked me and took my rank. I was rank two, but not anymore. Um, I'm already twenty away from him, but I mean, I've spied him, and I don't think I can take my rank back. Um, he keeps building guard houses as well. It keeps getting harder and harder to spy him. Um, so that's very annoying. Um, I think he has five k. He's got yeah, he's got five k ish. So I'm not breaking that. Um, ever so there's that um, I moved on this guy to take his rank because he's quite high uh, but then yeah um, we get talking and now we're friends so I'm probably not going to attack him um, but anyway these are the new rewards which are pretty insane um, no matter what rank you get you're getting horrors you're getting veteran horrors no matter what you do um, so top 20,000 get 10k horrors even the top 20,000 you're getting 10k horrors the veteran horrors which is insane um so yeah rank one and two rewards are identical um but the thing is now these rewards don't look as good the construction tokens and upgrade tokens just because of the new buildings and how expensive they are um top 100 would be very nice i need to try and hit someone who's in the top 100 and then just defend for the six days uh, but can't seem to do that at the moment i seem to be stuck at rank 102 which is very annoying uh, but the difference between the rewards rank 100 and 102 are not that bad so i do not mind that at all upgrade tokens are the main thing i've got plenty of construction tokens um so yeah i'll take that from top 150 the thing is i've run out of food too and that's why I've got these rubies saved to buy more food. Uh, will it be enough? Probably not. Um, I'll probably drop down rankings in the last couple of days. Uh, but as long as I can get some good rewards. You know what? I will take top 500. Um, I will take top 500. Uh, but the Outer Realms event before this one, um, I knew something new was coming. So I did go with the top 50 of that and I got it. Um, the rank swap I am not a huge fan of. Um, I made a mistake by leveling up because then you can send more troops. Whereas this guy who's level 20 is untouchable. Um, you literally can't. I mean, imagine having 5k troops, 5k defense, and then you can only send like not even 300 against him. It's like you're not even going to make a dent, um, which is very, very annoying. Um, this person attacked me and took my rank. I think it was this person. That was the leader of this alliance. Took my rank, which is very annoying as well. So that's what pushed me out of the top 100. Um, I should have, as soon as I got rank 2, I should have just stayed at whatever level I was. Um, level 14, I think. And I could have defended um, pretty well, but I messed it up. Um, this guy, I don't even know if I can take his points anymore. Just spy him. 20, ah, oh, that's expensive. Oh wow, that was it fail. So he's got 2.9k defense. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can break that. Um, and he's got 45% courtyard on his castella, uh, which is very annoying as well. I don't think I'm going to break that. My best luck is to try, my best chance is to try my luck with this guy. If this guy's offline, I can take this guy's rank. Um, so yeah, just try that. Do have some shield walls, hardly any wall tools. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and attack, because why not? Um, need to really save my rubies. But anyway, back on main account. Uh, very nice. Um, they have added new buildings. They've added new buildings, which are basically just Reddit greenhouses. Um, but a lot more expensive. Um, so now you can have like four Reddit greenhouses per castle. But they're called Relic Conservatories. And they are very, very expensive. Um, 
to build they're okay but to upgrade them oh my gosh i got top 50 last out of realms event and uh, these new buildings were coming out and i was like oh yeah awesome i can just um, get them to max every single castle uh, or most of my castles i was like i thought i could get like three max and uh, three or four of them max um ignore that new reel at the bottom that's really stupid event it's not going to do that i'm not going to waste my time talking about it Eight thousand rubies for one ticket no one's going to buy that um but anyway that's what i did and then i ran out of tokens i was like what do you mean i ran out of tokens this is only level 12. i was expecting to max out at least one um but yeah that one's level five i reckon after this out realms event i'm going to get this one to level 10. Um, this one, I don't know if I can level that up again or not. But the thing is, now I've realized what the best thing to do about these is you just build one level one in each castle, or seven, and then you upgrade them individually because it gets so expensive and it's just not worth it after a while. Um, it's like I've just upgraded one to level 14, which is very dumb. Um, I should not, level 12, I mean. I, I should not have done that. I should have just built them individually in each castle at level one. But it does make 10k, 10.5k. And these make 14.7k, which is very nice. Um, got these from the last Horizon event, which is decent. We got top 100 rewards, I think, or top 50, one or two. Either way, we did pretty good. Um, this one's 7k. So, yeah, the food production is very nice, I guess. Um, 67k food per hour but this is getting kind of broken now the food production uh, i think it's good game for you got too carried away you're going to run into people with fifty thousand defense um and their food's not even going to be red or something which is crazy i think a way that good game studios can fix this uh, mistake that they've definitely made is is um just doubling the food consumption of these to six. Um, I think that's what they need to do now. To and then maybe half the price that it costs for coins, um, and just double the food consumption to six. Um, that will fix the defense issue because people are getting way too many defenders now. Uh, it's gotten to the point where I can hold so sixty-seven k food production let's say i got minus 10k per hour on me at all times so 77 thousand divided by 1.8 that is 43k troops i can 43k defenders i can hold um being minus 10,000 feet per hour um if i just just these though is 37,222 defense without going red which is still a lot way too much so good game studios definitely need to fix that um so what i'm going to be doing after this outer realms event is just building a level one of these um relic conservatories in every single castle and then i'll probably get them to level 16 um probably i'm reckon level 16 is a very good amount because of that public order bonus um but i'm going to i'm not going to touch my fire peaks castle now the food production is too high i'm ne i'm never going to be able to train enough troops to get this to red food because i just kill my troops before i can train new ones um, it's going to take me ages to utilize all this food production so i'm just going to build level one of these in each castle two of those in each castle and then um, upgrade them all and um, i think these would be very good I think the best castle to put these in are well, eight food outposts where they'll be making 100% productivity or workload. I mean, um, fire peaks 75, 56, and then I mean, that's all right. And then sands, it's probably going to be the same. Um, ice, I'm not sure if it's two in ice as well or three. The work 100% workload. Yeah, let me check because I can't actually remember. Yeah, it's two as well. So ice, I don't think it's worth building these on ice. I think you should build them in your eight food outposts first. And then I think you should build one in your main. Because in your main you can have three at 100%. Um, 
I, yeah, I, ideally you want one in every single castle, but this is what to prioritize first. So build three in your main, so two of those reddit greenhouses, one of the reddit conservatories. And then in your outposts, get four of in each outpost first, and then do your kingdoms. Um, that would probably be best. Uh, but anyway, there's new blood coral wards as well, which are these Bastion Duplons, which are decent. Um, they've upgraded these public order, which is very nice. Um, some Fusion Forge ejected for item, very nice. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this because now we can get some pretty good relic items. Um, so yeah, um, these rewards are still the same. Um, but yeah, this I'm not even going to touch that. Let's just don't even open that tent. It's like Wheel of Fortune, but one ticket costs this much. <laughs> so yeah, don't do not do that. It's not a bestseller. Stop lying. No one buys that. No one's going to buy that. Um, so yeah, let's don't even touch that. Um, yeah, I think that's everything in this update, actually. So is that everything? Yeah, that's everything I think of. Um, and they increased the inbox capacity, I guess. You 50, which is alright. And then this is still 25. Archive still 20. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. So that's just the going over the new update, the new Outer Realms rewards. Um, it's crazy how you, everyone was is going to get 20,000 veteran horrors. I mean, you just need resurgence that we were at war with. I mean, are, are they going to survive every player sending 20,000 veteran horrors at them? I don't think they're going to. Um, that's actually very good for like clearing royal towers as well. Surely 20,000 veteran horrors is one royal tower. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.